right, I'm about to talk to sister-in-laws Carla and Shay Lee, who say they haven't spoken in two years and now need my help. Carla is married to Shay Lee's brother, Jeremy. She says Shay Lee has never accepted her into the family. And Shay Lee is here, and we will hear her side of the story later. But first, I want to welcome Carla. Carla, come on out. How are you doing? Well, don't you look fabulous? You do too. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show. Nice to meet you. Come on, sit in a seat for me. All right, now, so tell me, Carla, why are you not speaking to Shaylee? So, first of all, I don't trust Shaylee, uh, but the truth is, I have been trying to talk with her. Um, so, there's a lot that that goes behind that. So, let me take you on that experience yeah. of what exactly happened. So, um, to start things off with, um, Shaylee and me, uh, we went out to eat, and I was feeling under the weather, so I got a soup. And so, she started questioning me, asking me, like, what do I eat? It made me feel uncomfortable. It made me question my body. Mm. And then later on, I found out that she would go behind my back and ask my husband, what do I eat? What do, if I work out, how often I work out. <sighs> Sorry, this is hard no, I get to it. talk about all of this because it was like the whole thing about it is it made me question my body, the way she handled all of it. Yeah. Um, so, and she was rude to you that first time outside of just questioning your body. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so, um, so after that um, it, whole experience, um, I had learned to find out that she had asked my husband, who I was dating at the time, if I was a virgin. So she would ask very personal questions, and I didn't like it, so I would tell my husband how I felt. And so uh, my husband thought it was a good idea to reach out to her and say, hey, you need to say car sorry to Carla. I personally never needed a fake apology from her, but she um, messaged me, and she's like, hey, Jeremy told me that this is bothering you. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, why are you going to ask? my husband these personal questions about me. Yeah. And, so, and talk about your body, which is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I asked her, I was like, why did you ask this? And she got very defensive. And she started throwing like Bible scriptures at me, saying that I'm not a Christian. <laughs> she knew nothing about me ever um, for her to like throw these assumptions about me. So I want to know, how has Shaylee talking about your weight and asking these personal questions right. affected your relationship, not only with her brother, who is your husband, but yeah. also the rest of the family? Um, this, is, this is a very funny thing about it is I've never told my family uh, the encounters I've had with her because I didn't want them to see her in a negative light. Mm -hmm. um, but she did the complete opposite. She started telling everybody that I'm this terrible person. And I'm sure other things that, you know, I know nothing about that she's told them. I know this because she they started like messaging my husband saying you shouldn't be with her. On our engagement night, um, her husband messaged the group chat when we were all celebrating with my friends and family saying mm -hmm. you guys shouldn't be together. No one likes Carla, you shouldn't be with her. And so um, it really like kind of like downplayed our whole engagement party because we were just trying to celebrate and enjoy our time together, mm. so. So my producers told me that you said that you and Shaylee have different opinions about body positivity. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Um, so I'm actually learning a lot about body positivity and I'm learning that I am for body positivity, but what I'm not for is the toxicity behind it. Mm. That's what I'm not for. So then why do you, do you feel like Shaylee is hiding behind the body positivity movement? Do you think she's toxic when it comes to that? Um, here's one example. Um, she has said on several occasions, referring to as skinny people, or straight sized people where, um, you know, are this, and she kind of compares. And so I don't think that's fair because you're skinny does not mean you don't have curves. I think every body shape has curves. I think sometimes when we talk about body positivity, we only think of someone who might be of larger sizes. Yeah. There's different ways we see our bodies no matter how it looks, and For you have sure. to love your, your body at any state. So do you believe this relationship can be fixed between you two? I don't know. Personally, um, the last thing, and it, it was a, like, the last straw for me, um, she had questioned me, and this was um, the last time we went out to eat um, together. She started asking uh, me if I'm legal 
um, if my parents are legal. Um, and, you know, I'm a first generation American, so for me, that was super sensitive topic. And I wasn't like trying to make a big deal out of it, but I went home and my dad has like a noticeable accent. So I asked him, he's been in the USA for over 50 years. So I asked him, oh, has anybody asked you if you're legal, if you're a citizen of the USA? And he said, Carla, that's a really weird question. Nobody should ever ask that. And then that got me thinking, I was like, she's, she's asking these questions not to like get to know me because she's never said, hey Carla, what do you do for fun? Hey Carla, let's, uh, let's you know, meet up and go out to eat since you're in town. And she's, she's never made that effort. And when I try to be a grown adult and tell her, hey, you know, like, this is what bothered me, let's fix it, she started getting defensive and telling me that I wasn't Christian, I wasn't this, I wasn't that. And I even gave her my phone number and I said, you know what, just call me so we can fix this. Yeah. And she never did. Let's meet Carla's sister-in-law and hear what she has to say. Shaylee, come on out. How are you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mwah. You look beautiful. Thank you. Both Sweet. of y'all just I match, I match you. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, so, Shaylee, we heard what Carla has to say. She yeah. said that basically there's issues because, in a sense, you're bullying her about her body. In a sense, you're also bullying her about where her family comes from. What is your perspective on that? I wish this was a conversation that we could have had on well, our own together. But I had reached out multiple times to you, and I remember one specific <laughs> time when you came into town, I said, hey, can we meet up for coffee? It's really important for me to have a good relationship with my brother, and it would mean so much to me if you could tell me what I've done to you. Because you were telling my whole family I did something that you couldn't forgive me for, and I didn't know what that was. I never said that. I never once said I couldn't forgive you, because your mom told, your bro told my husband that I didn't forgive you, like saying that I hate you and all these things. And I said, where are these words coming from? I never once said that. And you never have. I've never had this, uh, this text message saying that you want to go out with me. To begin with, I think I have the, the right upper hand to say, like, I tried to have this adult conversation with you and you got very defensive and I didn't know what else to do. I said, why am I gonna have this conversation again? Is it because I'm married to your brother? Shaylee, do you have a problem with Carla being married to your brother? I do not have a problem with Carla being married to my brother because I want my brother to be happy. I am, however, very sad because since the beginning of them being together, my relationship with my brother has dissipated. Mm. And I wish that I could state my side to everything that was claimed here, but I have a whole completely different side. I have a different story. So then what are your issues tell. with Carla? You tell me. From the beginning, I've tried to be friends with you. I've tried to have some kind of connection with you. I remember the very first time where you had complimented my brother and said how great of a husband he was and how awesome of a person he and was. Again, we're married and, and you right, completely. And, and I said, and I said, I agree, Jeremy's awesome. And then I found out later that you were offended by that because I didn't say anything about you, but I didn't know no, you. No, that wasn't that. Okay, well that, that was the first. It wasn't first... anything about that. Okay. No. That was the first issue. And then but... I feel like things got brought up to me later on. The whole conversation that we had where I asked if you were legal, that has been stretched to a different proportion. You were talking about your family, <sighs> you were talking about your family in Peru. No, 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 no. Let me talk to no, no, you. No, 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 you don't ever, it, ever. No, no, no. Ever ask somebody if they're legal. Contact you, me. Don't do that. That is insane. Context. I don't know who taught you you can do that, but that is not okay. Context is important in this conversation, and let me say why. Okay. Because you were talking about your family in Peru, and you were saying how they wanted to come to this country and they wanted to become legal citizens. But no, you said I, it's never a process. Said that. I never said that. This was said a conversation that. we I never had said in that. that Starbucks. My subject. family is. They do have a citizenship where they can come. So okay. you're, I think you're remembering things wrong. So I want to hear well, about we, this we as well. We clearly have two different sides. Because I want to know, so what she did say as well is that you were shaming her about her body. Yeah, and I do not even remember that conversation. I would literally, my entire message, I'm a body positive, plus size fashion YouTuber. My entire message, matter. my entire message is about loving our bodies as they are. I would, I would never purposely, ever purposely hurt somebody in that way, yeah. ever.
Yes. And I'm sorry. Like Thank I really, you. I really am sorry that you, you felt that way. That I wish a lot. I wish that you could have like said it in that moment. Like, hey, when when you say that, that means that. But I had no idea yeah, this entire time. Yeah, because the thing was, we were married at the time, and you started asking him questions. Um, does Carla work out? What does she eat? I don't remember Why? asking these questions. Okay, but do you realize when you ask these questions, it makes me question my own body. How yeah. are you gonna how are you gonna make someone feel that way and then have the nerve to be a body positive influencer? It makes yeah. no sense. Right. It really and doesn't. I, and Shaley, I agree with Shaley, you. Shaylee, my producers Shaylee, my producers told me that you said that sometimes you've been discriminated against. Yes. Have you ever been shamed by Carla? Second handedly, I guess. Yeah. Talk I mean, there it. was a public figure that had made a video um, basically bashing plus size people and the body positive community. Yeah. And I had conviction in my heart to make a video about it. So I posted a video and um, all I'm doing in this video, as you can see, is like rubbing my stomach and embracing my body for what yeah. it is. Because I'm proud of myself. Like it's yeah. taken me a very, very That's long good. time to get to a place where I am and happy I with too. myself. I took a long time and you made me relive a trauma that I wasn't meant to I am relive. so sorry. I yeah. literally so, never meant well, to do I that I want to know you. what happened, though, when you, see yeah. you, post, you posted this video in response to mm -hmm. this person who made a video. And then and you said, I'm loving myself. And then what happened? And then this person who has millions of followers actually made a response to me. Was not expecting it at all, but it happened. And I was scrolling my phone. And all of a sudden, I was hit with thousands and thousands and thousands of comments messages, all hey, of you these. you don't have to worry about getting kidnapped. We don't want you. All oh my fat God. shaming comments, fat like shaming. tons That's and tons right. and tons of, of fat So what did Carla comments. do in that moment? She had liked that person's post. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my, my, my response to that was, I have tried so hard. And my, in my side, I feel like I have tried so hard Hold to make on. amends I with you. I can't switch high that, because you nonchalantly just said, yes, you liked the post. Yeah, I did. But if you that, felt pain and hurt, right. she's getting attacked online. We all know what that can feel like. Yeah. Why would you then like it? Because I was hurt. Hurt people hurt people. I get mm -hmm. that. But, but that still doesn't make it right. No, it was wrong. And so, I'll own because, up to it. Because the thing is, she's mm -hmm. trying to own up to her behavior and yeah. saying, like, I'm sorry. And, and from my perspective, because I'm on the outside and you asked for my help, it seems like you don't want to hear her. And so what I really do want to start, and I think a great baby step, is to at least apologize to each other for shaming each other on that body. Mm -hmm. You made comments about how she was, she was eating that made her feel uncomfortable, and you liked the post when she was being bullied about her body online. So can you both apologize to each other for that and allow that to be the first step? I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm, mm -hmm. I didn't realize. I appreciate that. I didn't realize I hurt you like that. Yeah. <laughs> I would and never do that on purpose. Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. I appreciate that. I'm really sorry that what I did hurt you, and I didn't mean it to hurt you. I'm so sorry. I really wish I didn't do that. Thank you. It's going to be baby steps for you yeah. all because there's pain that you were yeah. experiencing from before and you just have to now acknowledge it and not minimize it. Mm -hmm. And I think if y'all can start doing that, you can start taking the steps to move forward and be healthier as sisters. Yeah. Because I do believe she wants to be in your life. I know it's going to be hard for you to believe and so I'm not forcing you to believe now, mm -hmm. but I do believe it. My... Can you give your sister a hug? Because I yeah. believe it's sincere. Yeah, of course. <laughs> This is a big step. Y'all saw each other for the first time today, I think. A little bit, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Hold on, where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe, and right here to watch more, period.